today is going to be a very quick video about my hair and how I grew it in a year's time. Uh, it's going to be very quick and to the point, but before we get started, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, become part of the family, and let's get into this. So, my hair is wet <laughs> right now. Uh, sheesh. So, it's been, <laughs> it's wet. Um, you guys probably can or can't tell, I don't know, but just gonna show you like the the shrinkage is real first of all <laughs> let's start with that the shrinkage is real um, just grab to show you this is after 17 months here hold on let's do it like this This is my hair. <laughs> now that we got the length check out of the way, I just put it up like this because I'm going to be doing a protective style, a protective style, in two days. So right now it is still wet, <laughs> but this is me. Used on my hair that grew, literally grew my hair ten inches in one year. Literally grew my hair ten inches in one year. Right now it's been sixteen months since I grew my hair out. First of all, I can't even believe this hair grows out of my scalp. Let's start with that. I cannot believe this hair grows out of my scalp. Like, I've always had a perm. Um, my new growth would get like this. So, to see all of this, I'm loving it. But one thing that I did use is, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Canvas Beauty. Canvas Beauty, it's an oil, a serum a blossom serum but I saw this on like the ads that come through on social media and the ladies hair would just grow and grow and grow and grow real deal holy feel I would take this stuff and it's super thick like it's so thick and you can see like all the ingredients and stuff in it I use this like once a week they say you can use it more than that but I honestly use it only once a week it's like here so that lets you know how long this product lasts. Um, I believe it was 40 or 50, I'm not sure, 40 or $50. Another thing that I used, this product that I used, I only used it like on my temples and like in the top of my um, scalp, in the top of my head, and that is vitamin E. It comes just like this, I got it from Amazon. Oil, and you squirt it out, like it comes out in a, pump and I would literally just take this stuff even with my pr protective styles in and I would just rub it like where my temples are this really really helped this vitamin E helped it I also used castor oil I put this on my hair like three times a week and I had to get another bottle of this um, it's like to here it's like to there and so it comes out in a oil it's very thick I also only use this on my um, temple area. Well, actually, with this, not just my temple area, I would like throughout my whole front of my edges just to, and I would just do it because I use so much gel when I would have braids and stuff in, and I just didn't want it to 
<clears throat> be dry around there with that gel and all that. So I would wet it, you know, and put that on. I also use jojoba oil. Got this off of Amazon too. I would just take this, this jojoba oil, this rose hip oil. I got all of these off of Amazon. So I would take these three at least once a week together. This. I use all of these together and I would just literally take, it basically was like halfway up the tube and I would take it out of each one of those, out of each, all three of these, I would take it out of the, these three oils, I would take these three and mix them once a week. And I would just like take it and honestly just put it on this mirror. And I would just like dab it with my fingers and literally just like rub my scalp. If I had a protective style, I would just go through the my braids. If I had braids, I would go around each one of them. I would do those three once a week faith, faithfully. I use this once a week and I use this once a week. Outside of mixing the three, I use the rose hip and the jojoba oil every day together. But the, the three just once a week. And so I noticed that if I just would spray, it's a, I have a whole lot of hair on my head, but I would take my, at the time I didn't have, it was that long. The first thing I did was, this is gonna sound like, girl, why did you do that? But I honestly quit washing my hair. Yeah, I did not wash my hair for a whole year. Um, what I did do, I took a bottle, cause I have a whole lot of hair. I took a bottle, like a spray bottle with water in it. I added leave-in conditioner, like a chunk of Vaseline and uh, moisturizing lotion and I shook it up in the bottle and each time I would take my protective style down I would because I have to work in sections with my hair because it's way too much to be trying to do it all together And so I would take it in sections. I would spray that like on my dirty hair <laughs> and just comb, comb, comb my hair, combing any type of dirt, any type of anything out, but it will leave your hair really, really soft. That will allow your hair to be eating. I call it eating. Like it needs all the nourishment it can get. So while it's in a pr protective style, it's eating. Like I have saturated. Like when I first started off, I shaved my hair head literally like my face like I shit this is the third time I did it in two years but I shaved it um, December 19th of 2018 I shaved my head bald and I started I got a wig cap and I started doing quick weaves on the wig cap after a month my hair was big enough big enough long enough that I could kind of twirl it around my finger so I had to just you know I, I still, even with that little hair, I just took like and spray, took the spray bottle, sprayed it like I normally do, put another cap on, just did the process all over. So with my um, quick weaves, I couldn't leave it up as long as I would leave up um, my like sew-ins or um, my braids. anything like that crochets 
I couldn't leave it up as long because you know that glue be coming up and whatever. So I would leave that up like two weeks at a time. And so after two months, when I took it down, I was literally from bald like my face in two months, I was able to start French braiding my hair. That's when I started wearing crochet. I went from December 19th, 2018 to December 19th, 2019. I watched my progress and my hair grew 10 inches in one year, literally in one year. My hair always grew fast. It never grew this fast. Never, ever, ever in my life. Especially like this hair. Like, I'm just like, what do you do? It's got me a nice little wool helmet. <laughs> like, what is this hair? What is this hair? It's just hilarious, but I love it. In December of 2021, I might be wearing it down all the time. I don't know, cause it's so much hair. It's so hard to deal with. Like, it's literally impossible to do my hair in under an hour and a half. It's impossible. Even, like if I just do some twists after I've had them up, yeah, I can get that done in like 15 minutes. But from a wet head to <laughs> that, mm -mm. it takes me forever. That's what I did, that's all I did. I quit washing my hair so much. Your hair needs to eat. It needs all the moisture it can get and spray it with water. I sprayed my hair even with a water bottle that was just strictly water. I would just spray that all the time. Now I did use dry shampoo sometimes, um, but I never, I did not just like actually take shampoo and wash it. No, I didn't do that. And then sometimes I would take, literally take conditioner and just take it all through my hair. I would rinse that out and then like put my oils and stuff right back in there but i was not washing it after a year i started washing my hair like every three months i know that sound gross y'all but i promise you can ask my husband it smell good it be right it don't be dirty my hair don't be dirty we don't even be needing all that because you can take a co-wash and keep your hair legit you can take a co-wash and do that and so but that's what i did the next video i have coming out will be me styling this i'm going to be using a new product i'm waiting for it to come monday from Amazon, I'm gonna use that on my hair and then I'm gonna put it in a protective style. So you guys will get to check that out. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that like for your girl, and if you enjoy it, come back next week and I'll have another video for you. Bye guys. Like, this Afro puff just, it literally give me life. Like, I'm not gonna go nowhere with these two ponytails, but, your girl loves her hair, okay? Okay. But it's time to put it away. It won't, but huh, this is pretty much, y'all, it is not hot in this house. Like, I sweat every time I try to do my hair. I start sweating. But this is it. <laughs> or grab you a wig. <laughs> grab you a wig, okay? <laughs>